हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स स्पेशली इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स इज टू बी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड फर्स्ट द ब्रांच ऑफ फिजिकल साइंस दे डील डील्स विद द स्टेट ऑफ रेस्ट और द स्टेट ऑफ मोशन इन टर्म्स मैकेनिक्स स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द एनालिसिस ऑफ रिजिड बॉडीज अंडर ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्सेस और अदर सिंपलीफाइड फोर्सेस टू अदर फोर्सेस द मैकेनिक्स हैज Uh, developed all the way to the analysis of robotic forces aircraft forces spacecrafts under different dynamic conditions of it uh, or also atmospheric forces and uh, temperature etc etc engineering mechanics can be defined as application of laws of mechanics to field problem which is termed as engineering mechanics Engineers are very keen to use different laws of mechanics to solve different field problems. For all the problems between atomic distances to high speed distances, different mechanics has stood the test of time, and hence that is the mechanics which is classical mechanics used by engineers. Now let us classify. the engineering mechanics De depending upon the body to which the mechanics is applied the engineering mechanics can be classified as uh, mechanics of uh, rigid bodies or which is called the solid mechanics and fluid mechanics which is applied to fluids the solid mechanics is further classified as mechanics of rigid bodies and mechanics of deformed bodies the body which will not deform or the body in which deformation can take can be neglected in the analysis are called the rigid body the mechanics of the rigid bodies dealing with bodies at rest can be classified as statics and the dealing with bodies in motion is called dynamics the dynamics dealing with problem problems different problems so that is without uh, referring to the forces without uh, reference to forces what are the different motions is called the kinematics and when we consider different forces to motion it is called the kinetics if the internal forces or stresses developed in a body are to be studied the deformation body of the body should be considered so this mechanics of deformed bodies that can be um further classified is theory of elasticity and theory of plasticity then fluid mechanics liquid and gases deform continuously without application of very small shear force such material is called as fluids so fluid mechanics is related to that the mechanics dealing with behavior of such material is called fluid mechanics mechanics of ideal fluids viscous fluids and mechanics of impressible uh, incompressible fluids are for the replication in this area so these are the different classification of engineering mechanics let us go to different terminology which will be used for the engineering mechanics this is very important one uh, not very important but still uh, uh, this should be defined properly and uh, you have to visualize and understand it so that you can apply uh, all the problems into it first is mass so mass is nothing but the quantity of matter possessed by a body the mass of a body will not change unless the body is damaged and part of it is physically separated when a body is taken out in a space craft the mass will not change but its weight may change due to change in gravitational force if the body may become weightless when gravitational force vanishes but the mass remains the same so basically this is a uh, mass you can say so this is downward force or which can be called as weight 
which may vary at different uh, conditions or due to the gravitational forces. Next is the time. So time is nothing but the measure of succession of events. So the successive event selected is the rotation of earth about its own axis and uh, this is called a day basically. To have convenient unit for various activities, a day is divided into 24 hours, an hour is divided into 60 minutes and a minute is divided into 60 seconds. Clocks are the instrument or equipment we can say developed to measure time. To overcome difficulties due to irregularities in the earth rotation, the unit of time is taken as second, which is defined as the duration of uh, this number, uh, period of radiation of cesium-133 atom. So there is a radiation uh, which is in a wave form, um, it is called as the radiation, uh, period of the radiation, so the time period of the radiation, so you can see. So, if you say there are a number of um, waves are there for the CDS, so this is the time period. So, time, so time period of uh, this number of waves is called one second. Okay. Next is space. The geometric region in which a body is situated is called as space. A point in the space may be referred with respect to a predetermined point by set a linear of angular measurement. Let us see, uh, uh, just like space is to be uh, defined as x, y, z coordinates, the reference point is called the origin, so you can say this one is the origin, whatever is the point which uh, all the uh, points are joined together, so it is a reference point, so then x axis, y axis, if you say this is x, this is y and z, these are the three uh, reference uh, planes. So, it, um, the reference point is called origin and uh, any any point where actually the set of coordinates you can say x, y or z, anything, if it is a three plane then it is x, y, z. So, any point, so you can say from the very origin, so x, y and uh, you can say z, okay. So, if you see there. If coordinates involve only mutually perpendicular direction, they are known as coordinates. If it is only x and y, means uh, on a plane. So, if you are on a plane, you can say, so mutually perpendicular. So, this point is coordinates, okay. If it uh, involves angle, so that means uh, third one will be there. So, that means within angle, let it this angle is there. And also uh, distances from x, y, z, whatever, then it is called the polar coordinates. So, if only the x, y, z is there, then if that angle is connected with it, that is called the polar coordinates. So, it is all about sta uh, space. Next is, uh, you can say this is body, which is having x, y and z, ok. Next is length. So, it is a concept of measure, uh, measuring linear distance, you can say. Measure of linear distance. The diameter of a cylinder may be 300 millimeter. The height of a building may be 15 centimeter or meter. Sorry, uh, 10 meter or 15 meter. Actually, meter is the unit of length. So, length uh, is measured on the basis of linear how much distance or how much it is goes. So, however, depending on the size involved, micro, milli, or um, kilometers or uh, are also used uh, for so. Mm, millimeter, micrometer, something like this, then meter, kilometer, they are used for length. So, there are different, uh, in different uh, units, uh, we will uh, uh, discuss later on. Okay. A meter is defined as length of the standard bar of platinum uranium. So, platinum uranium is the length of uh, weight and measures. So, this is already standardized and also you, uh, to uh, one meter is uh, uh, generally this is the length wavelength you can see and this to reproduce it is so this is actually standardized uh, by uh, international bureau of weights and measures so there is this number of wavelength of Newton 86 atom okay 
so they invested uh, time period but in this case the wavelength so this number of wavelength one wavelength uh, length is this so number of wavelength will be there okay so next is displacement basically displacement is defined as distance moved by a body or particle particle in the specified direction so if you see let us consider a, a coordinate x y okay then in um, let it body a moves from a to b a is the origin or uh, starting point and b is the final point now if you see if you make the coordinates from uh, the perpendicular distance from x axis and y axis let it this one is the x axis and this is y axis so then you can see the plane in the x y plane the distance moved may be something but the displacement the distance is that uh, whatever the length from this this one or the dis displacement is from this point to this point a to b and that is uh, generally shown as uh, in b b days from x uh, plane x axis and b uh, a b days uh, distance from y distance so you can say this uh, this is the point so x and y in x and y direction so you can uh, just uh, find out the displacement so generally displacement is uh, depicted by this so this is the distance is uh, perpendicular distance from x and y next velocity so velocity is nothing but rate of change of displacement with respect to time it's a very simple one so let it uh, velocity is v and del x is the uh, uh, rate of change of displacement and del t is the rate of time uh, within this uh, uh, time interval so it will be dx by dt velocity is very simple change of displacement with respect to time next is acceleration acceleration is the rate of change of velocity so you can again further forward a uh, is the acceleration that is change in velocity del v divided by del t or dv by dt this, uh, we will discuss more on acceleration and other things on different bodies next is momentum momentum is nothing but product of mass and velocity which is simplify momentum is mass into velocity next is continuum continuum is nothing but a body consists of uh, several meters so that's why it is well known fact that each particle can be subdivided into molecules atoms and electrons it is not possible to solve any engineering problem by treating a body as conglomeration of such direct bodies that's why the body is assumed to be consist of continuous distribution of matter in other word the body is called as continuum then rigid body a body is said to be rigid if the relative position of any two particles do not change under the action of forces okay so let us uh, consider a body let it this one is a body okay and there are a and point a b are two points they are fixed distance from there so basically let let us apply a force okay then it should it should not change under action of force let it uh, force is applied here so they you see the distance from a and b are same and uh, the body is not deforming so that's why this body is called the rigid body because it's not deforming when a force is applied on it next is the particle the particle may be defined as an object which has only mass and no size okay object which is uh, only mass and no size is called particle such a body cannot exist theoretically actually it's not official uh, but but uh, different problems when you deal with distance or uh, large compared with uh, other bodies so you have to treat a small body with compared to other uh, large bodies is particle okay or without that we cannot uh, solve the problem so that's why a particle is to be introduced so the examples are uh, a bomber airplane so the gun gun has to be shot by the airplane the airplane is here particle similarly if you see a, in the galaxy earth is a particle so you can study on that and other uh, uh, examples are sea in a uh, sea 
can be termed as 